Hey there YouTube, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Uh, another video I have here on link cells. In lesson one we talked about how you can make the uh, checkbox or a text box linked to a cell. Um, so this checkbox is linked here. When I click it, it's either true or false. And this is uh, this cell has a formula or function rather based on if this is true or false. If it's true, this becomes the word active, otherwise it becomes inactive. And then looping around, this uh, text box actually is uh, linked to that cell. So whatever it says in that cell, it'll go here. Now what I want to show you today is some different things that you can do with formatting and a secret that I have learned that is pretty awesome that allow your text boxes or whatever you choose to use um, they can uh, reflect your numbers a little better. So I'm going to show you that. Um, so I'm starting off by putting uh, a number like 1.5 and um, in cell A1. I'm going to zoom in, control, scroll here. Zoomed in a little bit. I'm going to insert a text box right here. And I'm going to go ahead and link it to that cell. So properties, and we'll change the link cell to A1. A1, hitting enter. Stupid type pilot keeps popping up. Anyway, so now it's linked. Goody. Um, but check this out. What if I wanted this to be uh, like a fraction? Or what if I wanted it to be a dollar, always be a dollar no matter what this value is? So let's review some different scenarios about that. So we'll have that one be right here, about the same size as that. And uh, we'll have a duplicate right here, Control C, Control V. And then we'll have that be linked to A or B, uh, B1. Yeah, B1. So uh, 1.5. But what if I wanted it to be like a dollar? Um, here's what we do. You actually, let's see, I'll have this equal to that, right? So they're all going to be, everything's going to be equal to A1 in this example. I'm going to string out several um, instances of the same number. So if I change it to 2.5, you know, all these would be reflecting of that. What I want to show you is we can do a formula called the text formula. We don't want the actual value, we want like a formatted version of it, right? So equals text and some of you know where I'm going with this, but I'm going to use the text and I hit a comma, uh, text of whatever's in A1, but the formatting of the text is the, was the kicker. So if I wanted a fraction, I'm going to say uh, pound sign space, pound sign slash, pound sign, pound sign, and put and in fin finishing quotes. So that's like one and one 27th or something. So it's a number space number slash number number for the fraction. So end your parentheses and now you see that this takes on, it says two and a half even though, so if I did 1.0625 it's going to say one and one sixteenth right here. Now these ones still take on the numerals because they don't have a text formula. So let's copy that text formula down a little bit. That way we can just simply finagle the function. So if I wanted it to be like a comma separated thing, I could do uh, number sign, comma, number sign, number sign, zero, dot, zero, zero. And what that would do is it would always put a comma for the thousands or the millions. And it would always at least have two decimal places it's required and it's required to have uh, either a zero or a numeral in the ones place. So let's try that. So 1.06. Um, so yeah, it rounds to the to the second decimal, just like we told it to. Okay. Uh, also, if we did a big number like 
it'd be 1600 and 1 16th. And it would be formatted with the commas right here because that's what we told that one to do. Now, how about if we wanted it to be like uh, formatted as a dollar? I think we might be able to get by with the dollar function, but let's find out. Equals dollar a1 comma two decimal places and let's uh it looks like it's gonna be okay but let's let's do a text box and make sure I'm not telling you wrong. Don't want to tell you wrong. So blah 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 link cell for this one is gonna be uh D one D one. So yeah it looks like that actually is just fine. It takes the dollar format of whatever our number is and it shoves it in your uh, text box. That's basically it. Use the text function if you want some crazy formatting, but you're going to base it off of an, a different, uh, a different one. So this is the one that everything everything's looking at, and these are actually just fake. They're just taking that and turning it into a, um, a different formatting of it, and that the text the linked cell for these text boxes can deal with that a lot better than just taking the straight value so I hope that helps somebody I think I've uh, said one too many words on the subject but if you want to download this workbook and play around with this topic you certainly can uh, this one is called linked cells lesson one you got uh, both tabs here right now at the time of this filming I might add more to this workbook anyway you can always get my updates if you just click on my Dropbox link on all of my videos and you'll be able to find this one called link cells lesson one dot xlsm be sure and dig through all my other workbooks they're all free for the taking so check out those macros and play and learn and have fun and text me and or email me or whatever and uh, let me know what you think but leave a comment click like if you liked if it helped you at all Anyway, I'm done rambling. Thanks for watching. God bless, guys.